tuned in, YouTube. I just wanted to say good evening. Um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about an experience I had today while pushing carts. Um, about 12.30, in between 12.30 and 1.30, somewhere in there, I was pushing some carts. And I felt what well, felt like a warm sensation hit my left arm. And I looked down and there was a yellow jacket just clenched to my arm, stinging the tar out of me. Well, it had been hurting ever since. Well, I knew a trick that you could use with uh, some uh, cigarette ash or tobacco ash. Well, I called up a cousin of mine who's, who's pretty good and well known about um, certain herbs and stuff, you know, that you can use for healing different things. And uh, I told him about what I had and how it was still aching me this, this evening. And he t told me, he said, he said, first of all, you got any tobacco? And I go, yeah, I got some tobacco. I said, it's pipe tobacco. He said, that don't matter. It can be chewing tobacco, pipe tobacco, cigarette tobacco. He said, it can be freshly dried tobacco. He said, as long as it's tobacco. He said, you can either stick it in your mouth and chew on it a little bit and get it wet. Or he said, put it under some warm water and get it wet. And he said, and take a piece of cloth or gauze or band-aids or something you might have or hold it on there with your hand one of the two or one of the few, few things that he had said and he said you put that on the sting area and he said and then you take and uh wrap wrap it up with that and he said let it stay on there till it dries and he said when it dries it'll suck poison out of it well ladies and gentlemen I took some Captain Black Gold pipe tobacco that I had and I put it in a gold and I wrapped it around the area and there's a good chunk of it right there that's saturated and I wrapped it up with gold and and everything and I knew about the ash you know taking cigarette ash you know especially to help us strike a stinger so I don't know yet if the stinger's still in there or not but um, I know it's been pretty heated, split up a little bit. I even broke out in a bit of a sweat, which that started to scare me, you know. But then I'm like, well, you know, just keep calm. And if I start noticing I'm having trouble breathing, then, you know, I know to contact, you know, 911. Funny thing is, is I was telling a CSM at work about it, and uh, she just kind of laughed it off and said, just put a Band-Aid on it. And I said, well, I just thought I'd just let you know just, take, just in case I kill over and die. And she's like, ain't that being a little extreme? And I'm like, no, not really, because, and this is why, folks, you may be stung by a bee and live. You may and not have no problem. You may be stung by a wasp and not have no problem. Or you might experience other stings from other type of insects like this. But each one of them, just like a snake venom, they're toxins and their stingers you know is different from one another and I've never been stung by a yellow jacket before this is the first time you know and so you know I didn't know what to expect you know and so now I know I'm not allergic to yellow jacket stings and that's a cool thing especially with the track record my family has <laughs> well everybody I just like to say I'm, I'm thankful that's only got stung one time